everybody and welcome once again to all the fabric free today we are going to carry on with modern industrialization and hopefully make the analog circuit it's quite complicated let's have a look first of all at what we've got from the quarry so i've changed a bit to to using bronze tubes i think there should be some still in here yes we've got some bronze item pipes in here um and it's running nicely and it's produced all of these in all this stuff so we actually didn't get too many diamonds at the end of the day but we did get quite a lot of emerald 1240 and since then i've been doing nether quartz copper coal iron and there should also be tin i guess as well because we need all those things for what we've been doing so it's not too bad it's given us also 64 salt um and all i've been doing is putting it into this into this chest some tin uh some tubes so as you can see we've got one more item pipe is gone so there we are so we're getting some reasonable results now let's go and have a look at this over here as i said last time i wanted to upgrade all the machines so as you can see all of these machines have now have been upgraded to steel steam and we've got the packer and the wire mill here so let's have a look at the analog circuit first of all so we need these three things copper wire is no big deal let's make some copper wire i should have some copper ingots with me here so all you have to do to make copper wire is put some copper into the wire mill. let's put two pieces in there and then that should start to work oh no we need plates <laughs> i have to so we sort of put them in the compressor we'll put these two pieces in the compressor as you can see this works considerably faster than the bronze version of it again it's nowhere near as fast as the other machines at the moment but you know it's probably fast enough to get started so now we can put those into the wire mill and those are going to make some copper wire and with those copper wire we can then should we get two per per item or we'll take one of those out and put that into here like that and that'll make fine copper wire so we'll get four fine copper wire for one copper wire like that so those bits aren't aren't too difficult so look at the recipe again so that's so that's the resistor we just need some coal dust that's just grinding up coal no big deal paper that's no big deal um the inductor inductor is eight copper wire around a steel rod steel rod again is actually no big deal you just put a big large steel plate so look recipe you saw up a last a large in the cutting machine that's right so oh it's just an ingot will produce two okay fine a double ingot will produce four well that's fair enough isn't it uh, in there so you've got the cutting machine for that one and what was the other thing that's it basically and then so that will do that one and then the capacitor is actually slightly more difficult gold plates copper wire and a rubber sheet now the rubber sheet so look at the recipe for that the only way we can do it at the moment is the mixer because the chemical reactor and the vacuum freezer we are not ready to do yet so what we have to do is we have to mix synthetic oil with paper so one piece of paper and one ingots worth of synthetic oil will produce two rubber sheets so the synthetic oil is made by steam blast furnace in the steam blast furnace some raw synthetic oil produces that so what is that's one for one and the recipe for synthetic oil is carbon dust in the mixer with water this one is water and coke dust coke dust is dead easy carbon dust the recipe for that is in the centrifuge well we're not ready to do the centrifuge yet because that requires the electric components we haven't got that far for but we're getting there so we can do it with coke dust in fact what you can actually do is you can take coke i've got some in here some coal dust in here and then you can put that in the coke oven if you want to input hatch that one and the outside of that will we will get this coke dust okay so now what we need is coke dust and water in the mixer so what i've done here is i've prepared some space as you can see so here i've got some water i actually built another uh, steam blast furnace so i've got water here and i've got three fluid hatches so i've got an output hatch and two input hatches one input hatch is for the steam so the steam is coming from this bronze boiler here and the water is coming from the pump which i've also upgraded to a steam water a steel water pump 
don't probably didn't probably need to so what we can do is we can put the mixer on top of this let's get a mixer i've got a mixer pre prepared i think in here like that so we can put the mixer here like that and then we have to just connect it in of course so all we need is to get onto this pipe here if i can reach it with a, the wrench and that connects into there so that's now pushing into this water as you can see what we can also do is we'll lock this up so that only water goes into this slot here okay so now it needs coke dust so we can put some coke dust in there i did prepare some already so let's shove that into here like that and then that'll start to make this raw synthetic oil um what's it missing have i got that Right, I'm pretty sure I have lots of look at the use of these. Water plus coke dust will produce raw synthetic oil, that should be fine. Ah, it hasn't got any power. <laughs> yes, okay, I've actually moved it slightly. What I did before is I put it on here. In fact, it seems to be like a good idea. I also need to put... I'm not done this very well. <laughs> Let's put some power. Let's get some steel. I just need some iron fluid pipes. I'll go and get those and come back in a second. What I did is I had it here. It might be a better place for it. Anyway, let's put this pipe up here. So that's then we can then connect this in. That's just as we have connected everything before. Like that. And then we need to get down here to be able to connect this into there. Can I do that? Oh, I have to go underneath this. But if I do that, uh, yes, I have to go one more block down. Hopefully I can do it and maybe I have to remove this one. Yes, I do. Okay, so that's now got steam. And as you see, this is now starting to mix and it's producing some raw synthetic oil. So all we need to do now is to configure the output sides for this. Let me just fill in this hole. I don't think we need these anymore. So that. So here we can set the output so we can auto extract items that enable does have auto extract fluid so with a bit of luck i can put the fluid into here like this i just click this so then that goes into this input hatch which we can't oh, if we can see from the side here can't we so you can see it's got 432 it's raw synthetic oil in here and then that's cooking and that's going to be producing in the output hatch some synthetic oil so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the synthetic oil out of here. Let's just get a some more pipe. I think I've got some in here. I'm using bronze fluid pipe as opposed to iron fluid pipe for this. And we'll just put down one piece here like this. And we shall connect that into here. So let's connect it in. Like that. And then hopefully we can get the other side here like this. Oops. And I just do. There we go. So this is an output port as you can see this is an output hatch so we just change the direction of this to going like that and then that's now going to start putting into this machine some synthetic oil fantastic so all we need now need is some paper and then we should start to get some rubber sheets have i got any paper in here yes i've got 62. now it can't do both things at the same time it will, as you can see, it's got the highlighted one here. So all I'm going to do is now I'm going to lock up these items again. So I want to lock that one up, lock up the Coke and lock up the paper um, like this and then unlock it. And then we're going to take these out of here. So we can, you see that will then produce one more synthetic oil, raw synthetic oil, and then it will start to produce some paper. Uh, some rubber sheets because we've got some enough synthetic oil here for at least 10 actually 10 pieces so that's 144 divided by two will give us quite a few pieces of rubber of rubber sheet as you can as you will see in a second well in fact i've already prepared some rubber sheets so i'm going to leave that in there like that and let it run through because so we can take those two rubber sheets out like that in fact, we haven't got the synthetic oil locked up. Let's just lock that one up there. So we then unlock it. And I didn't lock up this one either, did I? Let me just make sure I lock this one up. And then lock it again. So you can't actually take take the items out of here when you... You can take them out, but you can't um, 
You can't put them in there like that either. You can't put them back into these slots. It doesn't matter very much. Right, next thing. It's night time. I'll have a quick sleep and come back in a second. So here are the recipes prepared. So let's make some resistors. I've got 12 resistors. We'll make 12 with some fine couple of wire, some cold dust and some paper. So we've, we've achieved those. The next thing in the analog circuit is the inductor, which is one steel rod around that will give us one. I think I've got that prepared here. So we will make two of those. I'm not sure how many analog circuits we're going to need. We we'll probably need a lot more than this anyway. And then we need to make the capacitors. The capacitor is copper wire gold plates around a rubber sheet like this. And that is also prepared here. Look. We can get, I've actually decided to make six capacitors. I'm not sure why. And then the last thing we need is an analog circuit. So an analog circuit is more rubber sheet, some copper plates and uh, a rubber sheet again. But I've got those prepared over here, as you can see. I need some more rubber sheets. Let's just put those into there like that. And that'll make another two of those. So all we now need to do is to put everything together like this. And then we should be able to make two analog circuits, which will complete that. And it, it gives us the quest complete. Fantastic. Hard work, actually. Let's have a look at this. Modern industrial. Oh, I've got another one for Tech Reborn. <laughs> yes, I know what I've done with Tech Reborn. So for that, we get 12 iron ore. Fine. That's good. Handy. Nothing wrong with that request, that thing. And then it takes us to the steam turbine. By the looks of it. And then from there, we can start to make the assembler and other bits and pieces. So that's what, actually while we're doing that, let's have a look at the Tech Reborn quest. I completed the fluid, oh, the recycler. We've done that already as it happens. That's <laughs> crap. 64 scrap. I have actually completed something else. And I set, I set it up here, and that's the fluid replicator. And this is a multi block, and it needs, simply needs, say, eight advanced machine frames, which are really quite easy to do. Let me just, I was going to cover this up again so it looks, it looks better. So that's this particular block and it'll sit onto these cables so it just it will work the other changes i have made were actually i've set up another recycler here and i've also put a speed up upgrade in this one because it actually wasn't keeping up with this this generator mark two so now it's keeping up with the generator mark two i created another one and i put into the seeds because i'm getting a lot of seeds over there and so that's making a lot more UU matter. Um, I've got actually while I'm talking about this, put the we've got this scrap. We can put the scrap into there, and that should start to turn it around, as you can see. It will make more UU matter for us. I was wondering whether or not to make a. Yeah, I think that's just good enough. Because with that, we can make just about everything. So now let's have a look at the recycle uh, at the steam turbine. Advanced steam turbine, steam turbine, this one here. So we need one analog circuit. Okay, that's no big deal. Bronze fluid pipes, no big deal. Tin rotors, exactly the same as all the other stuff that we've done here. A basic machine frame. So we need two analog circuits in total. We need a steel machine casing and some tin cable. Obviously, this is fairly straightforward. All the same recipes. Oh, tin cable's actually not. This is actually tin... Um, power cable so we need three tin wire and six pieces of rubber well as it happens i have plenty of rubber i was preparing some and, and as it's in here you can see i've got uh, relatively a lot <laughs> it goes quite well that that process i set up over there so there we are and here we've got some rotors exactly the same as we've done before tin rotors the bits for those we and all the materials so far are the same so we don't need to cover that again and now we need a steel casing. Let's order one of those because I've set it up already. Let's clear that off because we want some paper. We can all, I've now got to craft a more recipe for this. And we'll start that. I'm using steel from uh, here, which was actually coming from this, from the steam blast furnace. It won't take very long to make one of those. So I've probably got it already. No, not quite. It's just storing these plates, which shouldn't take very long to test done. Yes, right. We've got one of those. So what did we need for this one now? Steam turbine. 
So we've got these. We need to make a basic machine hull. So we need to put up some batteries, didn't we? And some tin cables. Tin we got as exactly the same as the other stuff. We've got plenty of tin cables. So let's make some of those cables up. So we needed, I'm not mistaken, we just needed three of those surrounded by some rubber. Like that. And that makes three tin cables, which is what we needed for this particular machine, if I'm not mistaken. We needed two bronze pipes for that one, analog circuit, and here we needed three. And the batteries are made with battery alloy curved plates, redstone and tin cable. Oh, I need to make some more tin cable. And we need to make this battery alloy plate. So the recipe for this is to make a, a battery alloy ingot. And that is made in the, should be in the mix. Oh, it's a, yeah, so we have to make the furnace. So we use the furnace for doing that. So let's have a look. So we need the battery alloy dust. The battery alloy dust is made in the mixer with lead and antimony dust. Antimony dust is made again in the macerator. Take macerating uh, antimony crushed dust, which is from antimony ore. So it's fairly straightforward. <laughs> he says, laughs about it because I, I have to because it's tricky. See, I've already made some. So here's the macerator. All we do is we put this into it, and you can see this is starting to produce some antimony crushed dust as you can see we can then take that out as it happens let's just take this out let that one go through and that will give us six antimony dust like this so we take those antimony dust here and some lead dust so we need a six and we put that into the mixer And that will make some battery alloy. That will make um, 12 battery alloy because you're going to get one, which is good because we need some plates anyway. Um, so when we've got six of those, we'll take those out because we need six. Actually, we need six for cable. Eight will do fine. So we just need to cook those up in the steel furnace, which is probably that one at the back there. As you can see, her process is working reasonably well. And then we need to flatten these down. So we needed five flattened pieces of ingots, didn't we, to make this battery. So I probably need twice as much as this. So while that's doing that, let's just get the other bits out of here like this. I put those into, the, into here so we get some more alloy made up. So we've got plenty of alloy. And then we can put that into the furnace like that and then we've got six pieces of these which we can then shove into the steel compressor to make plates as you can see and then we push these through again so how many did we need i think we needed four for each particular one didn't we so let's have a look at the steam for the batteries yes we needed four and we need five plates for per battery and then we needed some tin cables. We need four tin cables for that. So we need 10 plates, which they're going to be, let's probably just got some more ingots out of here now, 16. Let's get those cooked up. And let's get those flattened. So when we've got eight, no, we need 10, don't we? Let's just take out 10. That should be sufficient, I think. We want to put back two into here. No, we want to put leave all but two. Put the rest in there so they'll get the curved alloy plates as we've seen before. And that should be enough to make the batteries. But there is something else we have to do here. We have to make some motors. So here we need some steel rods. Copper wire, as we've seen before, and some tin cables so more tin cables we also need this magnetic steel rod which is made with a steel rod and some redstone actually not too difficult as it happens that's just a crafting recipe uh, let's put some let's put 12 of these into here so that they oh i need them plates don't i've forgotten let's put 12 of those get some plates so i think we're ready to go let's go back and craft all of this stuff up and see what we need to do so tin cables we need some more tin cables 
let's put all of our tin down there for that like that and make the rest of these here so that's going to give us another three sets nine twelve cables that should be sufficient for what we need so now we needed the casing didn't we that steam turbine so so this is the first one we need to make so we need to make these up so i need some redstone uh okay just some redstone we need a reasonable amount of redstone. let's just get a stack out of here if i've got any space in my adventure which i haven't i'll tell you what we can do we just put up some of these bits and pieces that i've got i don't need with me at the moment i do always need that i'll put for the time being i think redstone dust let's take a stack of that out of there it's night time i shall come back in a second Right, I'm back again. So now, what do we need to make? We need to make the batteries up, didn't we, for this? So we need to make two of those. So we've got enough materials for two, exactly. And then we need to make the casing up, which I think we can do now. So we've got our basic machine hole, which is fantastic. And then we need to make these motors. So for that, we need to make these magnetic steel rods. So steel. I have got in here. I've got four. I haven't got enough, obviously. So what I shall do is just make some more and come back again. There's just steel plates which we need to flatten. I've got some. Yeah, I've got some steel plates. So give me another three. Probably still not enough. So let's put those in the cutting machine. Oh, I've got some already prepared. Look, how about that? I didn't know I'd done those. To be honest, I've forgotten all about it. I did those yesterday. We'll shove those into there. Oh, they're large steel plates. Okay, I can't do it without large steel plates. Never mind. We'll sure we have now enough. But let's make up the the bits that we need for the motors. We need two of these. I don't need ten, just two. Like that. Oh, we got a new recipe. Let's take those out of here. So how are we doing now? Steam. So we've got the motors to make up. Have I got enough? No, I need some more copper cables. I've got plenty in here. Let's do that. So I can make exactly two of those, which is fantastic. And now we should actually be able to make the steam turbine. Steam turbine, fantastic. So we now completed that quest as well. Better than solar panels. Okay. <laughs> So for that one, let's close this one off. That was here. Uh, matter fabricator we've already made. In fact, we've done all of this now, as far as I can see. In fact, we've done it already previously. So and now we've completed this quest, steam turbine, and we get some love. Oh, Suprema pizza and hamburgers, both of which are pretty good. So let's claim those rewards. I've got enough space in my inventory, which is probably unlikely. And then we can make an electric blast furnace or an assembler as the next things along. But first of all, let's have a look at the steam turbine. I'm sure this is a multi-block. So with multi-blocks, I put them down on slime block to start with. Put them on top. You never know. It might well be that it needs a lot. Oh. It just says it needs steam and it makes power. But it's not a multi-block machine. Let's give it some steam and see what happens. Here's probably a good place. I'll put it on there like that. It doesn't get steam until we've, of course, we've clicked the cable. So now it's getting power. As you can see, it's already filled up with 32k of uh, EU. Fantastic. So that will then allow us to power the electric machines. Whoa, that went fast. I'm not sure if we've got enough resources to do the next machine along here. Have a look at it. So the next machine along here was probably the assembler. So more analog circuits. We need at least three for this particular one. We need these robot arms, which are made by steel rods, analog circuits, pistons. Pistons are made with steel plates, no big deal. Steel rods, no big deal. Steel gear, no big deal. As it happens, that will just be um, a large steel plate cut in 
the cutting machine. I see what they to do with my steel rods. Oh, that must be just simply ingots, I guess. Let's, oh, because I've forgotten already. All right, you can stick it through there, but let's have a look at the cutting machine. Oh, they are just ingots. Okay. And with the motor we've just made, so that's no big, and tin cable we've made, so I shall prepare all of that for the next time, I think. Well, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.